if you hit Command Shift O, it's going to outline this thing. Hmm. And you can learn a lot by looking at how a professionally drawn letter is constructed. Okay, so here we go. If we go into outline mode or preview mode, I'm sorry. We have all these points, and if you highlight one point, you can see how it's drawn. And you can see here, first of all, that the points are as few, they add as few points as possible in drawing a letter form, and they add it to the extrema, to the tangent that's farthest away. So at the top, to the, ex, the extrema point of the arc of the C here, and we're going to go to the bottom, and you can predict where the next one's going to be. It's going to be at the bottom. Of course, it ends here, so it has to end there. Straight lines are pretty straightforward. Okay? So here's how you can get a lot of really good practice on how to draw this. Does everybody see that? Yeah. See all these points? So you can see, even Aaron, after this episode, he can draw the letter G. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit Command 5. I'm going to go, and I'm going to go to Command K. I'm going to change this back to dots and dashes. Guides and grids here. I'm going to go dots right there. You can see that? Okay. Wow, that is super hard to see. That was a bad call on my part. Let me hit Command 5 again. All right. Can you guys see that, or is that too thin? I can see that. Okay. So remember, you guys, where the points are. We can start anywhere we want, but I'm going to start right here where we were. So I'm going to use the pen tool. Okay. So I'm going to find the point that's right there. I'm going to hold down Shift while I'm dragging out. This is the bottom of that extrema point. I'm going to hold down Shift and drag it out. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then I'm going to go up here, and I'm going to hold down Shift while I'm dragging it up. Now, I'm going to turn this into a stroke so you guys can see that. And we need to make this a little thinner. There we go. Okay. So far, so good. We're doing a pretty decent job here. I'm going to hold on Option, click on that. Hold on Shift. I'm holding on Shift to constrain it. Now I'm going to hold on Option and drag it straight up while holding on Shift. And I'm guesstimating how far up it goes before how far across it goes. I think that's the extremal point right there. I don't have anything deselected, so it's still live. I'm going to pull it down. Wait, Chris, when do you press Option and when do you press Shift? I'll explain in a second. I'm, I'm not doing anything funny right now. I'm going to drag Shift right now because otherwise it goes like that, Aaron. You see that? Yeah. I'm going to hold down Shift because it constrains it to the horizontal and the vertical uh, axis. Yeah. And then I'm going to hold down Shift after I set the point. Okay. Okay. Now I have to hit Option because I want to get rid of this. I want to have a sharp point here. So I'm going to hit Option and click on it. You'll see that handle disappear. So when you press Option and click on your last point, it disappears and you can start a new one. Kind it of. converts it to a a different point. Gotcha. Like a different kind of drawing. Option click. Okay. So I'm going along here. So now, look, I need to have a curved handle here. And if I were to click or draw, watch if I would draw, there's no handle up here. You see there's no handle yeah. here? So the way you have to do that is you have to hold on Option, click over it. I draw a tangent to it. Hold on Shift and drag it out. Oh. Sometimes when I was drawing this when I was younger, I was confused. Like, do I drag up? Do I drag down? It's confusing, right? Yeah. Like, which way do you drag? Yeah, yeah. You drag in the direction in which the curve is moving. Does that make sense? I'm going to drag upwards because the curve is moving that way. So, yeah. Okay. I've trained my 11-year-old son to master the pen tool, so he can do it. I'm sorry. This one, I don't want to hold on to option because I, feel I like want I to get his autograph ready. now. Okay, Auto. so he's he's doing well. He's 13. The other one's 11. That's the one you got to worry about, Holly. So now I can go and fix this. Some people, like Niels Lindstrom, he likes to fix the curves as he goes. I like to do it kind of rush, like get get it the general direction correct, and then adjust later. And there's some math that's going on here, guys. If you understand how Bezier curves works, it's mm -hmm. telling it this point to before it goes to your next point. I want you to go up so many points before you start heading over. And this is basically an interface for humans to use instead of typing in code. That's how you describe that curve. There's a lot of stuff that's going on behind the scenes. And if you ever wanted to, you can open up a Illustrator file. I don't know if you guys know this. You can open up an Illustrator file in Word and look at the code. Really? Because a PostScript file is the way to describe a visual thing using math. Wow. And you can literally open it up and look at this. Because people who do processing, they open up Illustrator files in Word and they modify it and then they send it through processing and do some really wild stuff. I'm adjusting here. So whoever before said, you know, I'm not a pro at it yet. Uh, I, I still need some help. Did, was this helpful to you? You feel like maybe after this you have a little bit more confidence in how to this do this? This is helpful to me. Oh, okay, good. Yeah. I didn't know that. Excellent.
So everybody gets a line. So then you're looking out for weird flat spots. Like here, I see it. It's kind of funny. I, gotta, I, I think I went too far over. This isn't a bad spot. That's why I need to move it over here and pull it out so that the transition happens nicer. Pull this in a little bit. It was too far out. That's not a bad G. No, it's not. Not bad G. <laughs> Baby. There you go. Now, there's something funny that's happening here. I'm not sure that these are lined up. So as a last thing, I'm going to hit Command Option J while having those four points selected and hit horizontal and just to make sure they all snap together. So it's one stroke across. Can you guys tell the difference between mine and this one? Let's see. Who can tell the difference? I think the counter is... It's funny. You are right. Look at this. There's a little flat spot here. Yeah. I got to shoot that in a little bit, right? So I, I think here I messed up too. It should be over a little bit. And I'm going to have a nice... Great thing that Erica did that right there. She was looking at the inside shape and seeing how smooth it was. This one's a little bit smoother here and there. And that's why we want to look at letter forms that are masterfully drawn. Ooh.